Hi, I'm going to make some beef short ribs today. I'm going to do it in the air fryer and they are suitable for keto or carnivore. I'm Anita from ketogenicwoman.com where I share keto and carnivore cooking ideas and recipes. If you're new here, Welcome and please hit subscribe to check out some of my other videos. Okay, so I picked up some short ribs yesterday from the local grocery store. Uh, they don't always have them. They can be hard to find. And when you do get them, they're all different sizes and cuts. So what I got yesterday, they call it um, Korean style and it's a rib that's in these long strips. They're, these are about three quarters of an inch thick. They're meant for uh, probably braising in a sweet and sour brown sugar sauce or something like that. Um, but what I'm going to do with these is I'm going to cut them into chunks and put them in the, the air fryer. Uh, it's going to only take about 12 minutes, so it's a real super fast recipe. If you buy short ribs and they're in those big, chunky, uh, they almost look like square tubes, you don't want to do it the way I'm going to do it because they'll probably be too tough. I have a different method for those big, giant ones, and if they have those in the store, um, if I ever see them, I will buy them and uh, and I'll show you I'll show another video on how to do that but these are for the thin cut ones I've seen them even thinner than this and that's something that um, around here they're called Maui ribs and they come in a sauce and everything they're really good not very keto friendly though um, with that sauce so you'd have to make your own sauce but today we're just going to do quick air fry on these they're nice and uh, they're perfectly shaped for that, nice and fatty. I'm going to cut them up and uh, season them and we'll get going. Okay, so I'm going to uh, season uh, most of them with just a salt and pepper seasoning. I use three parts kosher salt to one part white pepper because I'm sensitive to black pepper. You can use anything that you are good with. I'm just going to sprinkle a bit of this seasoning on here and I'm going to cut. I just cut them in chunks, you know, like about this big, this, this little thin piece. I just left it a bit longer. There's about three and a half pounds of ribs here. And uh, I've used about two and a half teaspoons of my salt and pepper seasoning. I'm going to put another seasoning on some of these. Um, for the keto people, it'll just give it a little more oomph. I, for myself, I'll stick to the salt and pepper ones. So those are cut. This is just a um, kind of like a um, fajita or taco seasoning. I just mix it up myself. Um, I do believe it's somewhere on my blog, so I'll link that recipe up below. And I'm just going to put a little bit on some of them. I'll probably end up eating most of these, so... We'll just do one little section there. Now I am going to uh, start up the air fryer and we'll get going. Okay, so I'm going to be using my Ninja Foodie grill today. It, uh, normally I use it as a grill for grilling steaks, but it has a very nice air fryer option that I like. So um, we'll use that. I'm gonna, take, I'm gonna take the grill out. And this is the air fryer basket. You can see it's pretty roomy, so that's my favorite part. I don't know if I'm gonna, I'm probably not gonna fit all these ribs in it but a good part of them, and then I can just keep going later. Um, and then I'm going to warm it up. So uh, it's set to 390, 20 minutes. That's the default setting for air fry. I'm just gonna leave it at that because I find that works fairly well. Although these will cook in less than 20 minutes. So that'll just take a minute or so to warm up. One, 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 one,
Okay, uh, it wants us to add the food. So we will do that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put all these in first. Kind of keep them on their own to one side. So that's probably about right. Um, I'll cook these ones later. So I will watch that. Um, in about five minutes, I'm going to toss them. Okay, so this has been about five minutes. I'm going to give these a toss. You can see they're getting browned already. Oh. This is where you need some kind of smelling app or something, smell o vision They smell amazing. All right, so I'll let that go for another few minutes, maybe five minutes. Okay, so we are at the 10 minute mark. Oh, look at these. These are gorgeous. So they do not need much more time. So in the last remaining minute, the keto people are going to get some sugar-free barbecue sauce. This is G.H. Hughes, almost empty. I'm going to hopefully get a couple of tablespoons out of this. And this reminds me, if any of you out there are watching this and you know of a good barbecue sauce that does not have sucralose, please let me know in the comments so that I can check it out. That would be awesome. This is, I'd have to probably order it because this is the only thing that's available around here. Okay, I'm gonna let this go for another minute and then we're going to try them out. All right, let's take a look here. Oh man, look at those. I'm gonna put the saucy ones over here. I mean, I am going to try a bite. I have to make sure it's safe for my family, right? But generally, I, I don't do all the sauces and spices because I do, I do suffer some issues when I do. These are mine over here. Salt and pepper only. Also, they are delicious this way, so I'm not complaining. All right. Look at these. Let's get a close up look at how delicious this. Okay. Mm. Okay. Mm. That was so good. If you love beef short ribs, this will make you cry. I, I promise. I am going to take a little bite of the saucy ones. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. So good. So just to wrap up what we did, we cut the short ribs into chunks, um, season them however way, you know, depending on if you're keto or carnivore or if you don't care, put whatever you want on them. We put them in for five minutes, 390, toss them after the five minute mark, let them go for another five minutes. Uh, then we added sauce to some, let them go for another minute or so. It was just over a minute and uh, they are ready to go. So that's like a 12 minute deal. Um, add a couple of minutes to cut them up and, and season them. This is a fast meal. So that is excellent. Um, I think you'll like it, give it a try. I will try to get some of the really big chunky ones so you can see how that process is different because you wanna tenderize them first in here at a slow heat. So, so don't forget to check out some of my other videos. I hope you enjoy the short ribs. Um, if you have any ideas for the barbecue sauce that don't contain sucralose, uh, just a cleaner barbecue sauce would be great um, because we still use that around here. Uh, that would be great. Um, so thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Hi, today I'm going to make some beef short. Why can't I say it now? 
Can you do that one more time, please? Why? 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 And share with your crew. <laughs> Maybe I'll share with the crew. Oh, I was going to say something else and it's just gone.